I'm Cynthia de Giorgio, I'm the curator of St. John's Co-Cathedral. I'm standing in a crypt just below the main altar of St. John's Co-Cathedral. The script was hewn out of the living rock and prepared as a burial chamber for the Knights of the Grand Master. As you can see, it has this wonderful decorative scheme that covers all the walls of this chamber. It is the work of the Italian artist Niccolò Nassoni. Now, Niccolò Nassoni was born in Arezzo, in Tuscany, and later moved to Florence. He is said to have joined the household of Cosimo III. At a later stage, he moved to Siena and joined the household of Cardinal Alessandro Zondadari. And it was from there that he came to Malta because he was promoted as an artist of note to his brother Fra Marcantonio Zondadari, who a few years later became the Grand Master of the Order. This is 1720. And a few years later, Niccolò Nassoni came to Malta as the court painter of the Order of the Knights of St. John. One of the jobs that he was given was to decorate this chamber. As you can see, it has this beautiful trompe effect. He was a master of illusionistic architecture. As you can see, he made this chamber look much larger than it really is, with all the arches and vaults opening up, up the ceiling further, higher than it actually is. The decorative scheme consists of festoons of foliage, flowers and fruits as a homage to the illustrious dead and also as a symbol of the munificence of the order. Also part of the scheme are large clusters of military weapons since the order of St. John was also a military order. Because this is a burial chamber, it's not surprising to find that there are many references to death, such as skulls, death masks, skeletons, and they're all beautifully painted with this lovely en grisaille, which is just a few scales of the gray color. In the apex of the vault, Nassoni painted four shields. The two in the center show the creation of man and the other one the fall of man. The two accompanying shields, one holds a serpent biting its tail, which is a symbol of the continuity of life, good or bad, and the other one holds a sheath of wheat, which is probably a symbol of life. These two shields together have an inscription which reads Inisque aborigine pendit, a grandis parvis acerus, which means the end depends on the beginning without distinction between great and small. For this decorative scheme, Niccolò Nassoni used the affresco technique which is a technique whereby the plaster is applied to the stone and then is painted directly on it. This was perfectly the right technique if he was in Florence. This is the technique that was used for wall paintings then. But in Malta, it's a completely different story. Unfortunately, it was this technique that led to its deterioration. This phenomena of capillarization and the powdering of the surface was not a phenomenon that the Knights of Malta didn't know about, and it must have happened more than once, because during the restoration process, two earlier schemes were found. So it shows that they too had suffered the same deterioration. The crypt remained here for centuries, almost forgotten, and the deterioration of the stone and the fresco accelerated to the extent that a full restoration program had to be implemented. Sure.